Hey guys, my name is Jennifer Ruiz, also known as Jenny69 on all social media platforms. And honestly, I'm just so obsessed with quinceañeras. I feel like I just need an excuse to wear a big ass dress and hire a banda and just live my buchona fantasy. So I'm gonna be turning 30 in March and we're currently in the month of December. But I just thought of this crazy idea. Why not plan a 30 ñera? And I feel like 30 ñeras are not a thing. But I feel like when else are we going to turn 30 again? To me, I feel like I'm going into my senora era, but I don't ever want to be like full senora. I'm still a muchacha at heart. So fuck it. You know what? I'm like, I'm going to have a treintañera. It's three months away. I said, fuck it. I'm going to do a reality show series to bring you guys along with me to, you know, do all the behind the scenes, the planning, the spending, the chaos. Oh my god, I know it's gonna be so crazy, but come along with me if you guys want to see me plan my treintañera. Oh, this is the whole place. This is this is one. Okay. Um, I think it's for the vision. Yeah, uh -huh. that's pretty spacious. Uh huh. We could do a lot of things. Um, obviously, I my think main it's too small. So I love that they had high ceilings. I felt like it made the place look bougie. And then I asked them to take me to the back patio and they didn't even have one. So that was just right away like red flag. It just wasn't gonna work. It's really too small. It looks like it's like a 13 meter. Like, is that funny? Like, girl, I don't even want to continue looking. And I was already super fucking hungry. I was hangry. And one thing about me is like, I'm a different person when I'm hungry. Like stop talking to me, stop looking at me, stop asking me questions, get in the car and let's go get some food. Hey, getting better. Okay, it's ready to get better. We love bakers. Give me a double motherfucking cheeseburger. She wants a mama meal. I want a fucking father meal. They took them all, dude. A combo uh, medium with the Coke. Okay. Finally got food. Se calmó, and I'm just like, cool, everybody's eating, let's go. So we're on our way to the second location, and honestly, I feel like I have a little bit higher hopes, and now that I just had something to eat, I feel like I'm already a little bit relaxed, I'm a little bit more humble, but you guys, it's not my quinceañera, it's my treintañera. It needs to be double the size of everything, double the fucking grupos, double the dress, double the hair, Bigger and better, bitch. Okay? So, as soon as I walk into the building, I really love the aesthetic of it. It looks very professional, very clean, very buchon aesthetic. They had the mesitas already decorated, so I really love to see that. I feel like once the mesas are there decorated, you can kind of visualize and like picture what the actual party is gonna look like. Um, but I feel like it was still too small. I feel like it was giving me very much after party vibes, so shit, maybe after the party, you know, we could go pop some pussy, call out all the ballers, make it rain a little bit. So you could finish like at 4 a.m., 5 a.m.? Um, she said to let her know and then we're good. Oh, okay. And then all of this business, uh -huh. it's closed on the weekends, obviously. So you have parking all around the building. It actually has its own private bathroom in there. So oh, like you don't have to share the restroom with everybody else. Oh, wow, well, that's nice. Because then it can get hectic that day. Run away world. Right. Run away. Oh, she's so I got a dance. Run away world. I'm going to play the park hole. Come in here. Now. Good This is cute. Is this where you're going to scream at Marco? I know. Then talk shit about Emmanuel. Everybody. And talk shit about Emmanuel and my mom. Yeah, that's where we come in. Then I decided to ask the lady of like the supervisor or whatever, she was showing us the location. 
I was like, can you show us the patio? So then she takes us to the patio and again, the patio was so small. The patio was giving very bautizo vibe, like on the side of a church, kind of. I think they had like a little gate right there. We can have like a cool smoking area thing. You have a question? Yeah, the price for the venue. Oh yeah, we have different options on the, yeah. It depends on if you want to get the food with us or okay. if you're just interested in get the venue by itself. It was cute, but again, it's just not to my standard. And at this point, I'm starting to worry and I'm kind of starting to second guess my party planner because I'm just like, are you the right party planner? Like, why are you bringing me to these locations, right? So I was still trying to maintain positive because he did tell me, don't worry, this next location that I'm going to take you is three times bigger than this location. So I'm like, okay, party planner, you better take me to where the bougie spots are because I'm having celebrities at my party. So, you know, it's not that I'm trying to be a bitch, but I want my guests to make sure that they have a, an amazing time. I want my family to be like, wow, like Jenny's really that bitch. Like she has this big ass place. The food is bomb. The musicals are everything. You guys, my trentañera needs to be perfect. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, enjoy. Bye. You. Do you want any juice to go with your tequila? I have a soda. You have soda? Yes, okay. thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so the senora of the location that we just saw gifted us a tequila bottle. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a little bit scared. Um, just because, oh no, wait, it's made in Mexico and it says puro de agave. Well, we'll, we'll find out right now oh, if it's Christina good or not. So, she brought us glasses too. Oh my god, now we have to book there. Honestly, I feel like we're gonna book this location for the after party because the next location that we're going to, they only allow the party to go until 12 o'clock. Bitch, that's the time I barely start getting drunk. Ugh, at this point, I'm just feeling stressed, but I'm feeling a little bit loose. I'm starting to get a little bit, you know, in the vibe. So you guys know whenever I have on my wig and I have on my ice, I have to drink. It's just the thing that buchonas do. Like, me encanta la mota, me encanta ser buchona vibes. And I just needed to keep the party going because I had just came back from Dallas, baby. Catching flights, not feelings. Yeah. Como que se me antojó la comida that she was talking about with the grilled chicken and the fettuccine alfredo. Mm -hmm. it sounded good, huh? Mashed potatoes and veggies. Bitch, I'm down for that. Then their food sounded so good. Bitch, they told me that they had fettuccine con pollo, vegetables. It's giving very like Sinaloa, bougie, hood rich type of cook cooks because the senoras the chefs look like they could throw down so yeah i'm thinking that should be the after hours place we'll see this next place this one's actually cool because they're willing to let us do like an after party which is cool and they're like there's no limit you guys can close wherever you want and the lady was being super cool which was cool she even gave us a bottle of tequila some glasses The after party is like right there. <gasps> wow. So, oh my God, as soon as I walk in, oh, bitch, finally my party planner takes me somewhere that I like. So the ceiling was amazing. The chandelier, I was just like, gasp, this is Marina Valley? Like, wow, they're definitely stepping up their pussy game in mobile. And it, nada que ver con mobile. Pobrecito mobile. No disrespect to mobile. You know, I grew up there. You know, living in Riverside, mobile mall was like, you know, popping back in the day. They had the best Hello Kitty store ever. Um, so anyways, I love the ceilings. I feel like now this is giving mujeres. This is giving Salon de Mujeres. And I loved the details. I feel like it was already decorated. They had custom lighting. You want pink, blue, green, and the chairs, bitch. They were Chanel chairs, literally like this. This is giving luxurious. How much is this place? 20. Damn. But it looks Oh my god, even the chairs look like Chanel. Can I like you see? Yeah, this is really cute. Yeah. 
welcome to my party as we sat down to talk about prices you know the senora brought out the list of package deals that they have and this venue is super strict they have their own chefs they have their own um little candy decorating tables you know so that was kind of like a plus for me because at the same time i'm worried about my dress i'm worried about booking los alegres de barranco i'm worried about my guest list i'm worried about all of the other stuff the small little details that i honestly don't really want to worry about food drinks alcohol i would like for the venue to worry about all of that and also i don't want to deal with so many vendors they sit us down at a table. Uh, we're just going over the, the brochure, the, the all the pricing, all the options, and I'm just hearing like numbers, you know. And I'm just like, and it's taking a little long, you know. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna wait outside. All about food and booze. It's like tons right. of alcohol, tons of food, so we can do little snacky stations like as they're arriving. Yeah. So the senora showed me the prices, and honestly, now I know why Bubush walked out. And as I was sitting there talking about everything, I felt like I was kind of zoning out because I'm like, am I really gonna spend this much money on a trintañera? This is when I was like, okay, should I spend all this money or should I just save this money and work on something else? But the thing is, I already announced that I'm doing a trintañera, so I can't say that I'm gonna do something and back out because that's just not my character, babes. When Jenny69 says she's gonna do something, she's gonna do it. So, we left because my party planner said we have one more location and he was like, oh my God, this next location, I feel like you're gonna love it and all this stuff. So I was just like, okay, I kind of felt like I gained a little bit more trust of him because this place was like amazing. So I was like, okay, let's wrap it up. Let's take all these little paperwork home so I can do my homework and really sit and think about, is this the place for my party? Where is the place? I think it's the one right here in this corner. I here? feel like this looks too ugly for me to even get off. So we pull up and right away the entrance was just not giving. It's because you guys, it was feeling very mobile vibes. Like it's literally, if you're from the IE, it's like right next to the fucking Home Depot. And girl, you think that I want to run into my ex-boyfriends? Like it's 2023. I don't want to run into anybody that I know. So right away the privacy was just not giving so we walk in and uh i just feel like it was cute it's giving traditional quinceanera it's giving traditional you know a party to tirar desmadre pero con la familia i feel like this wasn't a place for me to invite my celebrity friends ah me acting like i even have celebrity friends they're probably not even gonna go Anyways, I just want something special because you guys, I only turned 30 once. Oh, that's cute. I love this. That could be the VA piece. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Sofa. Uh -huh. This is doesn't wanted. necessarily have to be done. Right. For your guest to eat. Like. Uh -huh. yeah. They said that we can stay here till four or five in the morning, so that's a good, that's a good thing. It's definitely more. We'll talk after this. I feel like what I didn't like about this place is that it kind of smelled used and abused. Like it just was giving like patas with a little bit of sobaco. It smelled like there has been a lot of parties there. I have so much to think about. I'm fucking exhausted. And now all I can think about is the money, the expenses. How much are the musicals gonna cost? Who am I gonna invite? Should I even have a trintañera? And I feel like I just have to regroup with Emmanuel to really go over details. Like, is this something that I should do? Especially because it's three months away. Like, what the fuck? And I also do want to have a misa. It's like these little details. Am I gonna really wear a big ass fucking quinceañaso dress? Am I gonna have chambelanes and damas? Should I invite influencers to be chambelanes and damas? Ugh, it's just so much. Ugh, you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode where I pick out my dress. <laughs>